Hello and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. In this video we are joined by top barbecue chef Richard Holden and we are going to be cooking a full Sunday roast dinner using an Alpha pizza oven just to show that they're not just for pizzas. So over to you kind sir. Well what we've got, we've got, a, we've got a fantastic bit of pork here. We've got a loin of pork from a local butcher. Uh, we're just going to season it up with some salt and pepper and I'm going to ask for your help a little bit if I can. So I'm just going to start out with a little drizzle of rapeseed oil just down the, um, just along the skin. And if I could get you to go in with the salt. And then what I'll do is I'll start to rub that on and get that patted all over. So this is local pork. Um, this is just a, a pork loin roast which has still got the bone in it, but the butcher's just cut through this little section here so it makes it easy to carve later on. If I get you to season the ends for me there, Ian. Take a little bit of salt as well. Push that in, and then I'll do exactly the same on the other end. So in this tray over here, we've got a, we've got a roasting tray here um, with some bits and bobs in the bottom, and we'll talk through that now. So we've got some apple, we've got some parsnip, some onion, and some carrot. Um, nice little sweet things, the parsnip and the apple especially. Um, and these are just going to be heightened a little bit of, with the sweetness by a little addition of cider. Because this tray is going to sit on the bottom of the pizza oven, if we put a little bit of liquid in here, this could easily be water, but if we put some liquid in the bottom of here, it's going to act like a little bain-marie. And that liquid is going to help stop the, help prevent the uh, vegetables from sticking to the bottom and over caramelizing. Right. If that gets a little bit low during the cooking, we'll just add a little bit more either cider or water. Um, we're going to put this in as it is to begin with. And then once we've got the crackling really nicely developed on the top, we'll just put a sheet of foil over the top of that just to slow that outside cooking down and to, um, to stop it from overcooking on us. We mentioned the full Sunday roast. Yep. Uh, in this little tray here, I've got some new potatoes with some, um, just some rosemary, some crushed cloves of garlic, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. And then uh, a little bit later on, we might just have some cauliflower cheese coming out of the uh, pizza oven as well. So if you want to take the front door off yep. there for me, we're going to put this all the way to the back. With the pizza oven, it's really important to preheat the pizza oven and get it cook it, get it, um, there we go. So that's just going to sit all the way at the back. And then the potatoes just in the front there. We can just slide that over a little bit more. There we go. And then the potatoes just in like so. We've had this lit for about two hours. Yep. It's really important to get the insulation on here nicely heated through. So we're sitting at just about 200 degrees C. We've just put a few extra uh, pieces of timber on. Nice kiln dried timber just burns a lot more efficiently, doesn't it? Yeah. So um, we've had this lit for about two hours nicely preheated and then any temperature fluctuations from the fire are kind of dampened a little bit by the, the actual insulation of the pizza oven just being nicely preheated all the way through. Um, I would imagine about half an hour for that crackling and then and we'll, we'll foil over it. but we'll, we'll come back at that point I think. So yeah. Richard we're back with our alpha oven we've given it what hour and 45 minutes? Hour and 45 minutes uh, it's held a steady 180 all the time so Time to jump if you want to turn off yet. that. Yep. Careful, it's warm. <clears throat> and then we'll just, you can see that since you've been, since we've been away, we've popped a ca uh, cauliflower cheese in there as well. Let's just slide this pork, oh, let's just slide this pork all the way to the front. Let's just check that temperature. So 65 for well-sourced pork, you can serve this pink or rose. So we're going to take this off, just pop that in the way. So leave that under there and then Ian if I could ask you to bring off the collie cheese yep. and the, t the potatoes as well so the cider has just simmered away in the bottom of the tray the, un the um, onion parsnip carrot and apple mixture has just softened and braised absolutely beautifully collie cheese has got a nice little bit of color on the top if we had a bit longer we'd leave it in there just to get a bit more color but um, it's gonna taste really good it anyway, smells fantastic it? <clears throat> Yeah, so if we just take this off here, you can see some nice colour on the crackling there. Nice little tap. Nice bit of crackling. Let's just slice down through there. Look at that. All the way through. Beautiful. I think we need to just take a proper slice off that and then we'll have a have a taste realistically you'd let this rest yes um but for video purposes we can't so um 
We'll just take some pieces off here. The crackling is just absolutely crunchy as you like. Roast potatoes, rosemary and garlic. We've got cauliflower cheese and we've done a broccoli as well. Um, the broccoli didn't get done on the pizza oven, but um, you know, three out of four ain't bad. Plus a load of roasted veggies as well. How's the pork, sir? I've only tried the crackling, but the crackling is fantastic. So if you'd like any more information on what we've done here today, come and visit the team here at Hayes Garden World in the barbecue shop or visit our website, hayesgardenworld.co.uk. Uh, the blog's on there, tell you all about what we've done. Uh, we're across all the social media platforms, uh, everything to do. We'll see you on some other videos in the future. Enjoy, I'm gonna try a bit of this. Sounds see you next good. time. Sounds good.